Hello everybody. In this paper, we present a technique to handle quantum spin ladders. We use this technique to detect the disparity between odd and even-legged spin ladders. This is a joint work between Himadri, Auditi and me. Let us begin by describing a bipartite lattice. It consists of two types of sites. We have colored them red and green. The red sites are surrounded by green ones and vice versa. There is a singlet, also called a dimer, from each red site to a neighboring green site. And there are many ways to do so. We cover the entire lattice with such dimers and we consider only nearest neighbor dimers. There are many such coverings of a given lattice. A superposition of all such coverings is called a resonating valence bond state or an RVB state. We deal with such RVB states on ladders. By a brute force method, such a quantum state is usually difficult to handle, as we can see for this two-legged ladder, where by increasing the number of rungs, we land up in a huge superposition. The density matrix recursion method, or the DMRM, bypasses this difficulty by using a recursive approach to express the quantum state efficiently. More importantly, we show that recursion relations exist for local density matrices also. We use such recursion relations to find the genuine multi-site entanglement of large superpositions. A multi-party pure quantum state is said to be genuinely multi-party entangled if it is entangled across every partition of the system into two parts. To measure the content of genuine multi-site entanglement, we use the generalized geometric measure or the GGM. We are now ready to show how DMRM can be applied in a physically important situation. In the literature, it is predicted that even-legged ladders are different from odd-legged ones in several ways. Using DMRM, we evaluate and compare the GGM for these two categories of quantum spin ladders. We find that for even-legged ladders, the GGM monotonically decreases to a saturation value. It does exactly the opposite for odd-legged ones. We therefore have a complementary scaling of GGM in these two categories. Therefore, the GGM is able to distinguish between these two types of ladders. Thank you for viewing this.